About a year ago, a year and a half, you might remember there was a nasty hurricane went through Florida, Fort Myers destroyed it all. We have a couple Airbnbs in the area and I'm here though in California. In about two days, one of the Airbnbs, you know, gets power, gets internet. I can see the cameras, people can still book that place. The other place that's right nearby is, you know, not, nothing's coming through. And I have to send a handyman to go out there, you know, restart the modem, all the electronics. So the point is, I could have not spent money on that handyman to go out there and my time and explain all that, but just installed this one smart power strip that I'm about to show you that would have just restarted the modem all on its own. In this video, I'll show you why you might want to consider the Unify smart power strip, especially not just if you have Airbnbs, but your business and it really depends on your internet running 24 seven. And also if you're an MSP and you need to manage another client's business. Two, I'll show you what comes in the box, what accessories come in the box, and three, just how to set up the device and add it to your Unify network. Yeah. Welcome, my name is Bogdan Chaperny. All my content is free to you. All I ask is that you subscribe and smash the like button. So why would you consider this Unify Smart Power Strip? Okay, there's other devices out there. So this is around $50, right? You get six outlets, uh, your typical power output, and four USB-C ports. So for about maybe half the price, right, realistically, something like this from Akara, which actually connects to a hub, but there's other, other ones too that connect directly to Wi-Fi. You know, they cost you half the price. It is one plug, okay? So just to put some price perspective here, but it does have more features, okay? Uh, things, you know, like power consumption, it'll tell you exactly what's happening. A lot of automation there, okay? So this does not have that. And the main reason why is this right here, okay? So this is why I'm buying a bunch of these and going to deploy them at clients' businesses because it'll automatically recover during an internet outage, or at least that's what it claims and that's what it'll attempt to do. And what that means is it's gonna save, you know, it's gonna keep the internet running longer and I won't need to receive a call to go out on site, spend my time, send someone else out to actually restart, see what's going on. It'll automatically take care of it. So you could have all six of these outlets do that. And also the USB type C ports here. Th these four are linked together, but these six uh, main outlets are individually controlled. Okay, obviously it's a circuit breaker. So these USB type C, what you should know is that with all four of them, the max output power is 20 watts. Uh, and that's at, they seem to have now updated from 1.5 amps to two amps per port, okay? So two amps per port but 20 watts max total for the four USB type C ports. Okay, and just for some dimensions here, this is about nine inches, nine inches by four and a half inches long, okay. Now, again, why this might be interesting to you, you might want to install this in your own house if you have like security cameras and you rely on that, garage openers, things like that that you need remote access to. So that could be helpful. Again, Airbnbs, obviously, if your business really depends on this, a nice simple device, right? A $50, something like that, right? This can vary depending where you buy it as well. But for that price amount to have this feature and this many outlets that I can actually power cycle, uh, that, that's pretty nice. Let's open one of these and we'll see what comes in the box. Okay, so this is the Unify Smart Power Strip that they call. So like always, uh, there's a nice QR code to scan to get started. And there it is. So just a, a hard plastic, of course, because it do does connect via Wi-Fi. Okay, so this is the unit itself. Ryan has every outlet label here. So one through six shows you that you can automatically power and or power cycle them. Then we have four USB-C ports here, and those are actually all connected. So if you power cycle, they all power cycle together. We have the indicator lights here, which at first is white as you're connecting, and then once it's paired to the Unify system, it'll go blue that's online. And the back here is just where the mounting bracket will go. Then we of course have the actual cord plug to the wall and this power cable is about it's a, it's a little over five feet long uh, maybe to the end of this if you're planning where you can install this and then the last thing here is on this side do you have the circuit breaker so we can do that here as well and it has one integrated and just a reset ports then this is the mounting bracket 
that we took out from the box. Pretty hefty feeling. So it just has two kind of rubberized strips here to make install clean. So we have three mounting holes recessed, of course. Shows you the up position. Obviously, if you're installing it that way, that's how you would do that. And this is also magnetic, so you could install it on a metal surface. And then the last thing in the box here, we do have some mounting screws. So we've got two flathead screws with a couple of drywall anchors if you need that. All right, so obviously this is in there. So then this is really the up position up top here. It'll only install one way. So you just place this in and then slide it up. Okay, so now it's flush there. So at this point, if you did not need to install it, of course, with screws, you can just place it on your rack or any other metal kind of cabinet that will work just fine or just leave it on the floor. Okay, and then just to set up, you know, you could plug this in to the wall or whatever power distribution you have. A USB, right, a battery backup one that might be nice. Okay, this does not have a battery, of course, in it. And then once, once you plug it in, you'll hear a nice click. That just means all these turned on and there's that white indicator light. So next we'll open up our Unify console and we'll, we'll add this to the system. Okay, so now we're on the web in Unify network. So you'll go from dashboard, just click on Unify devices. And just like a minute after I plugged in, the power strip, it should appear here, prompting you to adopt the device, what Unify calls. And when it's ready to be adopted, the actual power strip will have the solid white light on it. And you can also do this with the Unify app, by the way, on your phone. But just so I can show you, it's, it's even easier on the phone, I would say, but you can do that here as well. So let's click to adopt. All right, so it's adopting. And it should tell us here when it's adopted. And also on the power strip, the light will be a solid blue. And it might be possible that it's flashing blue, and that just means it's updating its firmware. So that's very possible, but for now it's still adopting. Okay, so now the light here is blue, indicating it's adopted and online. And we do have an update, so we'll go ahead and do that firmware update. So yes, let's update it. Okay, and then after a couple seconds, it'll go back to yellow here, status, saying it's updating. And the device is flashing, the actual power strip is flashing blue and white. Okay, so I went ahead and installed this power strip with a modem and switches and all that. So let's take a look at what we can do here. And it's the same settings, again, from the mobile app. Okay, so all the regular stuff here. Insights, unfortunately, not much. This memory, you know, it's not useful. Uh, I wish it was like a power, show me power or something like that, power consumption. So we can rename, you know, the power strip. For me, this is fine, maybe that. Okay, and then you can you can click on each of these outlets and rename them as well. Let's first apply these changes. You can go in here like that, right? Scroll down, this also shows you all the outlets. By default, they're just named outlet one, two, three, through six. And then this just says USB outlet. I went ahead and renamed it to what's plugged in there. To do so, right, like you just go in here, change the name. It's kind of useful because you can actually type in some, for example, model numbers here. So you know what's there without having to go there to look. Okay, so we have the modem here. And what I enable, so this is off by default. This is that feature that we were talking about, modem power cycle. So power cycle, right, when the internet goes down, so you enable that and then you save that. You can, of course, just power cycle manually here, turn off the power, turn it back on. If you need something, so for example, the power cycle, I noticed it's a bit delayed, like a couple of seconds, and it turns back on within one or two seconds. So maybe if you need it to turn it off longer, you know, like 10 seconds or longer, then you can just manually turn off this outlet and turn it back on. Okay, so make sure you apply changes, then we can go back. And all the other ones you can update here. Also for the USB type C, I went ahead and typed in the max power that this can give. So it can give two watts, sorry, 20 watts at two amps, which some quick math. That means if it's giving two amps, it's at 10 volts. Okay, right, you can multiply voltage and amps, amperage to get power wattage. So just FYI. Which is also why I do have a, you maybe know it's a Hooves, which is just a home bridge. It's a Raspberry Pi plugged in. Now I didn't plug it into the USB-C, even though I could. But maybe some of you guys who've used this more know if it can handle that, because I'm pretty sure it can only handle 5 volts. So 
It's kind of scared to plug it into the USB Type-C. I'm not sure what it's going to deliver. But if any of you guys tried, let me know. Uh, that'll be cool not to use up one of the outlets here. Okay, so you know you can turn off the LED, obviously, if maybe this is like in a bedroom. Nothing else you really need to change here. This should be grayed out for you if you have automatic updates on in your console settings, uh, which is down here. Okay, if you have automatic updates, then uh, you can't really change these the firmware update, so you don't need to worry about that. But yeah, I just wish that maybe even for the USB Type-C, it would show what power is being delivered, and for the outlets as well. Unfortunately, there's just not a lot of information. The other thing is, for example, the hoops I know, or it's the home bridge, it has an issue when the internet goes out that it really needs a reboot to work again. So I went ahead and turned that on for this device as well. So some things to consider. And that's about it. So it lives here with your devices, unified devices. Of course, there's kind of no point to plug in your, you know, if you have your default, your main gateway here to plug it into the strip. There's kind of no point because you won't be able to access the strip if your your main gateway is down anyways. Just, just something to, to understand there. This Unify device has been out for a couple of years now, actually. And maybe some of you watching have used it. And if you have any tips, please put it in the comments section below. Maybe I missed something. Maybe there's a better device that can do this, even if it costs more. I mean, this is pretty good for $50. Uh, you get six outlets and USB outlets. So, But if there is something else that you can recommend, let me know, especially if, if you are MSP, remotely manage other businesses, devices, let me know what you use. And if you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care. Oh, <laughs>